Hi guys. First things first, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. You guys are absolutely insane. Blowing up every video uh, one after another. It's it's absolutely incredible to start a channel and to have it grow like it has. Uh, and everybody I've met along the way has been amazing, uh, fantastic, and I wish nothing but the best for every single one of you. Uh, and last episode, so that was episode six, we got... 86 thieving started doing our crafting used up all of our bone statues and decided hey this is very inefficient let's scratch the plan and address this at a different uh, kind of path and that is going to fletching so we started the fletching grind uh, for the chunk which is 65 fletching one last thing before we get into it stick around to the end to find out who won the bond giveaway and find out the new rules on to enter the next one and there's 56 wood cutting that's 51 fletching oh this is it this is what we wanted this is ah, oh, this is amazing this is actually amazing all right let's finish this get the book all right so this book ended up completely perfectly with an end inventory i was just running back to go get uh get more wood so this is what we'll do we, we said it before we'll throw the book on crafting first that should give us 10 xp away nine so nine xp away we will now go do thieving until we get two statutes and then after we get two statutes we'll use both of these lamps and that will free up our inventory again so let's do a little bit of thieving on the side I don't think I'll get a level or anything I should get two well before this so uh, you guys probably won't see it but I'll come back once we can use the lamps and the uh, statute oh, guys I don't know what's happening I've gotten three statutes from this one chest this one chest this one search I've gotten all four of these items and three of them are statutes that's insane all right, that's going to be a level, potentially two levels. I don't know how well these two lamps will do um, off the top of my head, but at least one level, potentially two. I'll finish this this house just so I don't waste the key completely. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we finished that house. I'm through one of the statutes in the bank. We'll hold on to it. We'll use two of these. That should get us to level 10 crafting, which is huge. Oh, we're 200. Oh, this is perfect. Um, let's grab the statute out. We will use both these lamps on crafting. And then we'll statute again. Boom. 11 crafting. Oh my goodness. That feels so good. I don't think you guys understand how good that actually feels to one, empty your inventory a little bit, but to two, get two freaking levels in that span of just a couple of seconds. So freaking nice. All right. Back to fletching. We've got, we're at level 51, fletching 56, wood cutting. We're going to keep going again until we finish fletching. So 65 fletching will go until... And then once we hit that, we'll probably go do cooking. And then after cooking, we'll back to, go back to thieving because that'll be pretty much the end of the chunks. So we'll see how many more randoms we can get. Um, hoping for more books, hoping for more lamps, and we'll see what happens. I'm just recording right now, so I missed it, but I'll hold up here. Uh, that is level 57 woodcutting we just hit. We're also very close to 52 fletching. I'm probably going to miss it, but I'll catch you guys up once I cross it. It'll probably be not this inventory, but probably the next. Yeah, I think we get like 775 each, so it'll probably be next inventory. If there's only one guarantee in this world, it is Spoon missing a level prompt, 52 fletching. Holy crap. Okay, listen, I'm not going to lie. This is back-to-back -back of randoms uh, getting an exam. This is, this is incredible. I was just recording the intro for the next episode, which would be episode five, so it's probably a couple episodes back, but just recording that and got this. I stop all progress, stop all recording. Uh, we're doing this because this is going to be a pretty big one, I think. All right, so this isn't going to give us a full level, but it's going to get us very close to the next level. This is going to give us 165 XP, which is huge. Like, I, I don't think you guys understand. This is 33 stone uh, bone statutes that we just saved just from that one book. Like, that is that's so much time, like so much time. It's, it's actually insane. Uh, but now we are one lamp or one book away. If I get a book, I'll save it until I get a lamp. I want to use a lamp first because it's less XP waste than use, using the book. So, and then we'll save the book for the next level. But man, what progress, huh? We're, uh, almost, almost halfway. We're only a couple levels away from, uh, halfway of this grind, which is, it's kind of crazy. It's only going to get faster. I was really hoping we'd be able to get both levels in this inventory, but we did not get wood cutting. We're 200 XP away, but there is 53 fletching, so we are getting there. That puts us 12 levels away from the 65 requirement. We're getting there. 
and like I said, I was close but didn't get, quite get it, so this last inventory just took six. That was 58 woodcutting. All right, I missed it while I was running by, but uh, that is 54 fletching. That's pretty good. I'm hoping we can get 55 today. It's going to be close. I'm averaging 5.3 KXP an hour. So that puts me just about three hours away from 55. I should be able to get that today uh, and then maybe make a tiny bit of progress into uh, towards 56. So that's the update though. We'll hit 58 here in a, or 59 uh, woodcutting here in a second. All right. And this is our first B random, I think. No, maybe it's our second. I don't know. They all start to blur a little bit. Um, the importance here, we're looking for gear. We're going to try to get the set done as fast as possible, not the flax. So nice. We got a hat. Sweet. Keep going. Although the, the reason we want outfits more is because once we get rid of the, the outfits out of the way, then we no longer get other stuff or other outfits. We get other stuff rather. So in this case, we get flax, which would be nice for uh, future crafting grinds in the next chunk or next couple chunks, probably depending on if we roll. But there it is. Bzzz. All right. We're coming up on if we ever get this log 59 wood cutting. One away from that nice 60 round number. We're doing pretty good. That 60 is what's required for the east chunk for U logs or uh, U trees. So I would love to hit that 60. Uh, and we will definitely hit that 60. We'll probably hit like almost 70 by the time we finish fletching. So we're in good shape. Well, if you know, you know. Um, sitting here watching Chunk, you know, watches do his chunk roll. But at the same time, that is level 55 fletching. All right, there's the nice even number, level 60 wood cutting. We're doing pretty good. We made a sliver of a dent into 55, uh, which would getting to 56 fletching. I estimate we're gonna, this is out of 10 levels. I'm gonna estimate we're gonna be here for like a week. I don't know, this is very slow to be honest, like extremely slow. I'm averaging 5.4K XP per hour. So it's actually a little bit higher than it's been recently, but really bad, really, really bad. See you guys in the next level, whenever that is. All right, so we got this random. It's the first one we've had in quite a while. I think I have the full set, but obviously it can't look while I'm in here, so I'm not 100% sure. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a lamp, and if it is, it'll be another level for uh, it'll be another level for crafting. So hoping that I have the full set and hoping that this is a lamp. See you in a second. Oh, I was right. That was a lamp. This is huge. Crafting level... 12 let's go huge 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 we are one level away from halfway and then we'll be done with this eventually this is good we are also 12 times 15 180 so the next regardless of what we've got ideally two lamps before our next book uh two lamps is better than using a lamp and a book so we'll see what we get hopefully we get another uh random quickly after this hour all right, so I decided to set up these goals. It's a plug-in on RuneLight. One, the top one's for crafting, the bottom one's for fletching. It helps me and you get a visual aid of how much XP actually is needed. Also, here comes 56 fletching coming on in. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these. They're in the next couple of clips, uh, and we use them throughout most of this grind, but if I need to, we can remove them in the future if you guys don't like it. Also, I move it in the bottom left corner eventually. All right. And that's 61 wood cutting. Also, we hit 2% on the old journey that just started a couple of inventories ago. So we're certainly more than 2% from where we started, but we're 2% from where this goal started. So kind of cool to be able to see that number go up too. I'm not going to lie. All right. This is the last level that we got for the night. It is 62 wood cutting. Um, it had been a long day at this point, so we finished like 20 minutes after this clip i think or something like that but yeah 62 wood cutting is where we ended on this day all right so i didn't get it but i did just get wrong tab i did just get the letter hose in the bottoms which actually is the end of the freaky forester which means if i'm i think i'm correct in saying that this also will give just like the camo did uh now give me the lamps so more lamps good thumbs up all right that's 58 fletching also a good buddy of mine has decided to bring two of his alts over to also do forestry the hope was to spawn some events we got one we got the fox event so we got a whopping two hunter xp 
most of the event was outside of the gray zone. So um, we'll see how this goes. I don't know if this is even worth uh, his time, let alone my time to worry about getting events. But there is a chance that we can get the turn up haircut or whatever that event is to get fletching XP to help this. So I think while he's here for however long we end up doing this, I'm just going to focus air shafts and then uh, we'll see later on what we end up doing. But I mean, we'll need arrow shafts eventually anyways, just because we need to make our own arrows in our general chunks. So that's just the way it is. Back to it. Oh, also kind of important. I feel like I that's halfway. That's halfway to 65 fletching. Uh, so we are officially halfway through our fletching grind. Feels good to say that. Uh, also, this number going up makes it feel like less daunting and less of a crappy grind because the XP rates here are horrible. Alright, so I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, I got egg. I can't even get one tile, man. If you stand in there, we'd be fine. This mother efforted. Freaky Forester, you dog. It is what it is, I guess. And there's 63 wood cutting. It's going to be the last level for quite a while, probably about five hours, four hours, depending on if I keep doing arrow shafts or if we give up on this and continue to do longbows. Uh, the difference is like five hours versus three hours, something like that for the next fletching level. Ah, I figured nice guy coming to help me out. Maybe drop some uh, forestry randoms in here. Well, I didn't mean drop a bunch of rune axes to make fun of me for having an iron axe to do this grind, dude. Come on, man. All right. There's an unexpected level a little bit. That is 64 wood cutting. I was actually expecting to get a fletching first. So, no, oh, that is what it is. But we're getting closer to 59 uh, fletching as well. So, see you guys in a little bit. Maybe another, probably an hour. All right. So, we got a maze random. And I'm sitting here and debating on if I want to do the chests to get runes or to try to get the shrine in the middle for feathers i'm selfish in my current grind i think i'm gonna do feathers guys i'm gonna do feathers i'm gonna run through this and do feathers and see hope i get feathers rather and see what happens see you guys at the end all right that was not really good i had like the worst luck ever i feel like uh 67 not fantastic and we didn't get a single f feather pardon the french enjoy the beep but that sucks Back to it. All right, and there it is. That is 59 fletching. We're getting closer to that 20, or that uh, flat number 60. I'm still going to try to get it. Keep in mind, it's uh, almost 3.30 p.m. I need food. I'm going to try to get it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to within tonight. Uh, we probably got a couple more hours on, but I'm going to give it my full effort. It looks like we're about three and a half hours away from that, that uh, level, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Also hoping for a random event in just a second. That'd be nice. All right. And there's 60 fletching. Nice even number. <laughs> Let's go. This is, this is actually very, very good for us. I did not see what he wanted. Uh, three tails. This is so good for us because this, we already have the suit. So this is actually a lamp and we like lamps. There's the lamp. Oh my goodness. Right on to crafting. 120. We're one lamp, or a book, but I'd prefer a lamp because it's less wasted XP. One lamp away. 13 crafting. Let's go. Alright, just finishing up this last inventory before I go to bed. That was 61 fletching. Nothing crazy happened. Also, uh, probably explained this before, but if I didn't, um, my mic broke. So I'm using a crappy headset microphone until a new one comes in. It is 1 a.m. Saturday the 6th of April. It should be here on Tuesday, so I have a couple days, uh, and then I'll have to monkey with it and set it up that evening. So it may be until probably Wednesday until I start actually getting new recordings in uh, with that new setup. But bear with this crappy microphone for maybe a couple levels. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's the end for the night. 11,300 oak longbows, not too bad. Today we had eight randoms on April the 5th, and then I started... I guess it's the morning, technically, so I've had one today, the 6th, but yesterday, the 5th, I had um, eight randoms, of which I had one lamp. We had three Dr. Jekyll, two Mysterious Old Mans, two Miles slash Niles, one of each, and then the Freaky Forester was the one lamp that we ended up getting. So, lamp luck was not there today, uh, compared to the day before where we had 
two exams and two lamps. So uh, let's get back to that. That sounds way better. Let's get a bunch of levels, but we are leaving today on one lamp away from level 13. 61 fletching, 66 woodcutting. In all honesty, I'm trying to get 65 fletching as fast as I can. So if I do and it's on this junk microphone, I apologize ahead of time, but that's just the way it's going to be. I'll try to do as much post processing as I possibly can to help this out, but uh, it'll hopefully just be a couple minutes of this episode and then uh, we'll be on some a better setup. Hopefully uh, everything will sound better. So appreciate you guys bearing with me and uh, see you guys in a little bit. All right. We got a mystery box in a random. Just asking the CC for a little bit of luck. We're really hoping for a lamp here, guys. If we get a lamp, that's 13 crafting. That would be huge. Again, it's another 24 less bone statutes that we need. 3, 2, 1. Never lucky. Never lucky. GG. Till the next one. All right. Every single one of these levels is cherished and enjoyed. I got a dwarf random during this so just ignore the kebab and the beer but that was 62 fletching we are three away from the end of our grind just about 117,000 xp away and about 56 percent through since i started this little calculator we're getting there guys guys we're getting there uh we're gonna finish it i don't think it'll be tomorrow i think it'll probably be monday or tuesday after work but we'll get it done and then we'll start cooking well, I just finished a sergeant random, and we got another lamp. This will give us ba -ba -da -ba, level 13 crafting. Let's go. That is huge. We are exactly halfway, or maybe a little bit over just because we have XP, but we are halfway in levels to the 20. Ooh, that feels pretty good, not going to lie. Annoying thing is we're still two. We're still a book and a lamp away, or two lamps, or two books, however you want to think of it. We're still two randoms away from the next level. So onward. Hey, <laughs> all right. We got another dunce random. We will grab this book and of course throw it on our crafting. All right. And there's the book. We will throw it right on crafting real quick. 195. That's very good. We are one random away from the next crafting level. Huge, 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 huge. And there's 68 wood cutting. We are also getting extremely close to that 63 fletching. Uh, based on my calculations, it looks like we've got just shy of, I don't know, 27 inventories left, 20-something around there. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. Well, there's an abrupt change to audio. Going forward, um, there's 63 fletching, and uh, we're still getting there, but we're two levels away, so it's not bad. All right, so I saved in until we got back to the bank, but we do have another lamp. We'll put this on crafting, and that should be enough for level 14 crafting. Pretty big. An 11 XP away. That, I'll have to check, but my brain is telling me that's enough for one book. And the math says I'm wrong, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, regardless, still two. We'll get there eventually. Good, good, good progress, though. I'm hoping we get to, like, 17, 18. By the time we go back to thieving, that'd be pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, <laughs> you can't make this up. I was talking about doing cooking grind, hoping I could get a lamp during it with... Uh, Chunky Thorpe or Mark RS, go subscribe if you're not to his uh, Birth Thorpe one chunk. But in doing so, I was talking and recording this entire spiel of how it was ironic. I talked about the lamps and then instantly got a lamp. Well, I got the lamp, recorded it, didn't have the voice, uh, my, my microphone on, given the new setup, a couple of hiccups, but I put it on crafting, shocker, and we're almost through 15. Uh, one book or one lamp away, and we will be mostly through 15 as well. So I'm hoping 15 will also just be a one lamp, one book. So we're making some pretty good progress, guys. We're through the halfway point, and if I had to put a number to it, we've probably saved somewhere around like 300 bone statutes. So uh, very happy I decided to do fletching first and cooking first um, instead. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm just eating a post dinner snack it's getting late it's later it's eight o'clock my time but that was 64 fletching guys we are one level away it has been a long time and it feels pretty rewarding i'm not gonna lie to say that we're one level away let's just take a look at what we've got in the bank and see how far we've come so that's 78,000, almost 78.2 thousand arrow shafts 126 regular longbows and the behemoth at least in time 
15,000 and essentially 200 oak longbows. Opening up the calculator here, looks like we've got another 2,500 to go. Um, 2,551. So we will continue to get this going. I'm debating on pulling an all-nighter and getting this finished tonight. Um, oh, I'm not going to ruin myself uh, sleep-wise for tomorrow at work. Those that are watching this, it is April 10th at the moment. Oh, and look at this timing. A good old boring balloon stomp. Oh, just kidding. Let's go. See you guys at the end of this. All right. We did a little bit of a speed run there. At least a micro speed run, but that should give us 650 XP for 13 fishing. Uh, for those that don't know why this is at least a little bit important, we'll jump into the map real quick just to take a look. So we have the Hunter's Guild and just south of it is a shark and lobster spawn. This is really our only fishing in the pretty much the entirety, aside from some anchovies and sharks over here, which this would be significantly worse to get. If we get this, I'd be pretty happy to go lobsters to... Uh, sharks to be honest because it's the best we can do also it's a nice easy pretty steady afk training method and training task so it's not too bad on the scale of uh, making us bored or anything it also has a big purpose at the end uh, obviously giving us a bunch of sharks would be very good food we certainly are one chunk away over here with potatoes so we could do potato and tuna and corn but i mean that's a process right that that takes i don't know probably 10 minutes or so or Maybe not 10 minutes, but like five minutes or something to cook one. If you include just trip to potato, trip to corn, connecting it, tuna, all that kind of stuff. So probably about five minutes each food, as opposed to just grab a shark and cook it, would certainly be much easier in the long run to have that ability. So we'll see what happens. I'm thinking at some point, uh, probably in this video, perhaps right after we finish this fletching grind, I'll do a deep dive into what our chunk map means and some of the air quote death chunks or chunks I'm more afraid of uh, as we kind of progress here. Regardless, we'll jump into some tasks or some chunks down the road, see what that looks like at some point. Um, but until then, we'll finish this fletching grind, hoping for some more randoms, almost at uh, 15 uh, crafting. We've got a long way to go, but we've also made a lot of progress. And there's the beekeeper's top to add to the collection. Uh, I've got to double check. I don't know if that's the last... Uh, looks like it's not. We're still looking, missing the beekeeper's gloves. Then we will start getting flax. Everyone knows I'm banking these bows, uh, but I mean, in reality, we'll never get. We don't have a sp spinning wheel, so like we probably will never spin, uh, be able to actually string these. But it is what it is. We got spooned, uh, according to Chunky Thorpe, aka Mark uh, RS. But in reality, I don't think I did. <laughs> Now, he got spooned, I'll tell you what. All right, he told me just a little bit before this, when I scrolled up, he says, <laughs> he said, make sure you don't record our DMs. <laughs> well, guess what? You're getting it because we're just talking about randoms uh, and about how I was 45 minutes overdue a little bit ago. And uh, he got a quiz a quiz master and uh, got a mythal sim. Well, guess what? I got me a genie with a lamp and 15 crafting. Let's go. That is amazing. And dang it. We're still two away. Still two of either away. Um, but we're getting, if you're peeping, we're getting a little close to a milestone here, guys. We're getting there. You guys in the next clip. All right. And that's level 70 woodcutting. This will be the last level that we get for woodcutting for the fletching grind in our current chunk, though uh, the chunk east of us does have yew trees. So if we get that one, um, we will get plenty more woodcutting levels, but that is 70. And we are getting eerily close to the next fletching level. Based on my calculations, it said 90 before this inventory was left. So three or four inventories, guys. We're almost done with this fletching. Just a little side note, I was, I was looking through this. We made this little goals thing I don't, a while ago, right? Obviously, but like a week ago or something now in real time. But when I made this, that was the amount of XP I needed to finish it. But you can see here, I'm only 1500 away there. This is showing closer to like 5k. So I'm not sure why this is like really far off. If this is like not going to be consistent, I'm going to end up scratching this idea and just... Uh, getting rid of the goals. I personally really love it though. It helps me stay sane and stay in it. But if this is not going to be possible, then that's just the way it is. All right. So I just did a quick reset on it so we can see kind of where we are currently and what's left. 
That way I can see if maybe this is actually tracking wrong. I don't think that's the case. I actually think what's happened is at the end of, the, I think, the previous episode, hopefully it would be the previous episode, maybe the episode before that, I don't know, I made that uh, outro music video and I had to make some, um, I had to record some some snippets for that and I ended up disabling the plugin for it. I'm wondering if I forgot to turn it back on for like 30 minutes or something because that's like a very spoon thing to do. So that might have been what's happened. Oh, 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 we made it. With this, we will hit 65 fletching. That is officially fletching completed on the chunk. This is amazing. We can do our diamond tipped addy bolts. We obviously don't have the addy bolts, but we can make the diamond tips. Guys, this is amazing. I am not going to do it until the end. We're going to try to do all the chunks at once, but uh, that was... That was a long grind. Let's start cooking. All right, so appreciate everybody for watching the video. Uh, we finally finished the fletching grind, which is huge. Let's get into cooking in the next episode. Also, the new rules for getting into the bond giveaway. <laughs> Just kidding. There is no new rules, but I made you watch the whole video or maybe skip to the end. I don't know. See who's smart and who's not. But again, yeah, just post your RSN down below um in the comments and i will pick a random comment like i did last episode speaking of laps last episode's winner uh newsflash they didn't uh reply i messaged them on comment and i added them on runescape and they haven't been online since the uh post of the last episode which is about a week ago so um instead we're gonna jump right into picking a new winner we're gonna roll for last week's comments or sorry Roll for two weeks ago's comments for last week's video, and then we'll roll for last week's comments for this video, and we will have two winners of the bond, hopefully combined into this one episode. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are. This is episode five. We, this is the first winner that did not reply. We will paste it in here. Also, it's, it was asked uh, in game actually, but not on a comment. But if I roll and someone doesn't have their RSN in the comment directly, I'm just going to roll again. Um, that's just the rules to enter, and it uh, saves me a headache. So let's see who gets the first one. And the winner is nobody. He didn't post. Let's pick another one. Kenan Fox 2XFE. I'm going to assume that's their RSN uh, because it's just simple, and it, it seems like that's it. So... Welcome or uh, congratulations, Keenan Fox, uh, thirty four eighty three, on winning the bond for episode five. All right, so now we are at episode six. Let's grab this URL, paste it in, and forty two comments. Let's see who wins it. Nothing. Task Force, great video. Keep up, keep them coming. Appreciate it. Uh, Task Force, I will add you on RSN. We'll see if you're around right now. If you are, we'll get the clip. If not, I'll message you and uh, make sure that we can get it in the next episode. All right. So for those that are curious when I do these, uh, what it looks like. So I added both of them. Neither of them are currently online. That's okay. I will keep my eye on this for the next week until next episode. And uh, if one of them or both of them don't get online and or uh, reply to the comment on the video, then of course I'll roll three next episodes. So... <laughs> Hopefully somebody pays attention. I'm trying to give away bonds here. Anyways, I appreciate everybody for sticking around, watching the video. And if you haven't seen it already, enjoy the outro. In the lands of Gilinor, there lies a mystic place. Far the more where heroes roam with courage and grace. Sportus and adventurer with dreams so grand and vast. He sets out on a journey to conquer till the very last. One step at a time through the forests and the plains. Sportus seeks his glory with resilience in his veins. With sword in hand, he battles all that stands in his way. Conquering Baltimore will surely seize the day. Oh, Sportis, the conqueror of Baltimore's embrace. Your spirit shines so brightly 
Through each challenge you face With every step you take You leave your mark behind Conquering the continent One chunk at a time